Hey, hey guys, welcome back. This is going to be my reaction for episode 13 of Winland Saga. And this one is called Child of a Hero. Uh, last episode, we uh, were running away from Torkel and we weren't getting enough sleep or rest and we just kept marching and Toggle was you know, getting closer and closer to us, right? Breathing down our necks, but apparently Askabot had a plan up his uh, sleeve and um, uh, found this old man in this small boat, right? And um, apparently Askeladd has some kind of accent that he could hear, so he apparently knows someone on the other side of, um, of the river, right? Uh, and um, they come to his oh, their rescue, right? And uh, Torkel is standing there, like didn't expect like that they would actually get any support, right? Uh, but apparently the Welsh, Welsh people are not uh, aligned with the English and um, or the Saxons, right? And uh, this uh, we learn also from Torkel when he tells about it to one of his men, right? Um, and you know when we reach the other side, we meet the commander Gradianus, I think it was called, right? And um, he will lead us uh, to the next small country, and then from there we can. Uh, catch up to the main Danish army, right? But before we reach there, we got ambushed uh, at the border. And uh, that is kind of where the episode ends up. Like, Askeladd's horse was killed, right, by the arrows, but uh, no one died so far. So so let's see if we are getting a fight or not. But uh, it's getting interesting and uh, I cannot wait to see it. So guys, without further ado, let's get into it. But before we do, if you haven't seen, you can now become a member of my channel, so please check that out. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. You can even hit the bell and don't miss out anything I do. Even leave a like. I would appreciate it. Let's go! Episode 13 called Child of a Hero. Oh, is that, uh, is that Gratianus? It, it could look like him, right? Like a younger version, of course. So we are getting a war, or...? Ah, okay, it's not the same place. どっちの制圧も時間の問題かと思われます。早ければ冬前には決着がつくでしょう。ロンドンのその後は。ああ、I'm マルバラで交戦との情報も入っており、現地兵と合流した可能性もありますが、その町。Yeah. Let's see how they get out of this. ほう、我らの言葉を話すか、万人よ。Ah, so they, these people don't know Asgard. <laughs> Mm. So the Dane, they don't like that they are talking with the Danes. Yeah. 
言葉わかんのかビョルいやわかんねえけどよその木なら最初の矢で死人が出てたはずだぜまあはったり聞かせて話し合いを有利に進めようって腹じゃねえのはい、あ、そういうもんかうん Like, I mean, if they just accidentally, right? <laughs> Then someone would die. Hmm. And it seems like it does, right? Yes. ごねてみせてデカトを見ているんでしょうヤギも狼の皮をかぶらねば草もはめぬ時代です彼らに同情しますよ、うん、教えるのかお前の計画をそれもいいでしょうが茶番がやりたいなら少し付き合ってやるのも一興かと What does he have planned? もののもしかとみよこちらにおわすお方こそデンマーク国王スベン陛下のご子息クヌート殿下であるわお、He's pissing his pants, man! Well, now address you! We haven't even heard him say anything yet, like. Say something spirited. Look at him! 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 There's no way. There's just no way. Look at him. Wow. Wow. I mean, how can he become a king? It doesn't like to talk in front of people. Right, right, right. Exactly, thank you, Askeladd. <laughs> Wow, what a useless prince, man. Jesus. Nothing, apparently. Ah, uh, okay, so he had that as a backup, right? Yarodomo,その場でまて。やつらの対象と話しつけてくっからよ。ラグナルドのお言葉ごもっともです。殿下の恩見をアンズロあまりつい出過ぎたことを申しました。殿下も。<laughs> どうかご容赦くださいませ。うん。ミビ、うん、ミビアドンアンダスタンアスクラッドアスウェルアスアイシンクアイディ。アイドゥバット。オメビダワズジスンアクトライク。ルックアットライクデディフェンスビツウィン
what is he planning like i know what what it you know what he's talking about right but how will he make that prince do anything he's literally useless兵に守られねば話もできぬと思われては我が王家の恥だアシェラットと言ったかね事情はわからんでもないが困るんだよね実際話はついてると聞いたんだが所管で突然領内の通行許可と兵糧を求められてもね二つ返事はできないんだよじ
俺はデンジンに溶け込んでいるつまりウェールズはデンマーク軍内に俺という工作員を持つことになるあのボンボンを次のデンマーク王に仕立て上げれば俺も国政の養殖につけるはあそうすりゃウェールズへの不可侵条約を結ばせることすらできる So that's his plan I see Interesting But I mean He has a long way to go with Knut Like I mean look at that kid right He, he cannot do anything like But I mean if he can make like Just a half Torfin out of him then maybe <laughs> それ言ったなんと大胆なよくもそんな大風呂敷を<笑>おっさん様が笑っておられるぞ着物太いお方だ<笑>一つ懸念がある<笑>デーン人の中で生まれ育った貴殿だデーンの血よりアルトリウス公の血が常に勝ると言い切れるかねうんその辺は信じてもらうしかないな。いや、because how can he prove it that which side he's on, right? 俺はデンジンが嫌いだ。OK。はあ。はあ。はあ。はあ。はあ。はあ。はあ。はあ。はあ。はあ。はあ。はあ。はあ。はあ。はあ。はあ。この国を通行する間、連中の捕虜になったふりをするだけです。国境で追放されるとき、武器は返されます。それで彼らのメンツは保たれます。不思議でならん。なぜ貴様の部下は命令にホイホイ従うのだ。ラッキー、I guess <笑>。すごいです。<笑> That's what they said, right? これでも結構部下に信頼されてるんです。おい、トロフィー、お前もだ。そう。So now they're unarmed going through <laughs> some small countries. But I guess this will make it look like, you know, that they actually were captured. They're scared shitless. <laughs> now they're acting strong, right? プリンセス。言いてえことはてめえの口で言えや。舌がねえのか。あ。僕は。Here we go。病で喋らないわけじゃないんだ。で、し、し、慎重なんだ。慎重にしないといけないんだ。わお。僕は<笑>慎重なのだ。わ、wow. お<笑>そこそこマシな言い訳言うじゃねえか。お姫様こ,このプレイモノは初めてだ。今まで僕にこんな態度を取るものなどいなかったならいい経験じゃねえか。<笑>発言を取り消せ。言い訳などではない。お前などに王族の苦労の何がわかるわめくんじゃねえよ、座ってろ。わめいてなどおらぬ僕は自分の発言の正しさを主張しているだけだはいはい分かったってだっだいたいなんだその態度はこの僕を何で言ってるのかなと思うのに何で言ってるのかなと思うのに
even Ragnar was like a little bit impressed, right? But okay, it, it is like if you can start to open up and you know just become just a little bit a half torfin, right? Then then we then we're get, getting somewhere. Shit, it's already becoming winter. Yuki. Ah, うるせえな。マシア白龍の北端を横断して、そこが本地現地腹を目指しましょう。一周は早く着く。敵の領地を進むというのか。ウェールズの山の中。でも、でも、going through it all the time. デンジンに力を貸すとは思えん。平気平気。それもちゃんと考えてますって。うん。やろうとも。方向転換だ。無駄がずするな。え、マジで。急に道変えとかよ。心配すんな。アシュラッドの判断に間違いはねえ。I'm, I'm feeling like they, they're starting to question him a little bit more than they did, did in the beginning, right? Like, they're still following him, no problem, but, I mean, without Bjorn there, right? Like, I mean, ever since they had to leave their ships and stuff. There you have it, guys. That was my reaction for episode 13. And um, we didn't get any fight. But we we got a lot of information about Askeladd and his whole plan and what it is to like going forward, right? And um, the episode starts with us seeing uh, a young Askeladd carrying his mother uh, into the like into Wales, right? Um, and he's greeted by like a, gra a young Gratianus uh, and like tells us that she will die soon, right? Uh, at this point, we don't know what it's about, but apparently uh, Askeladd is the son of King Arthur, if you can say like that, right? Like, or the story about him, right? But that's not the real name, it's like Ar Arthurius or something like that, right? Um, and that, but the whole story about it was apparently built around it, right? Uh, and that's the father, and, um, and apparently Askeladd is the son of this guy. Um, because that guy used his mother as a concubine, right? And just bred with her. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, we also see uh, Floki talking to the Danish king. And um, he's telling them, or telling him that they have captured or destroyed the last uh, forces in Wessex, right? And um, this will make it super easy for them to just finish up uh, England right now, right? Uh, then the king asks about Knut. Uh, and how that whole thing went down, right? And they they know about uh, their loss at London, and they know about the whole battle in the forest, right? But what happened after that, they don't know. And I'm guessing it's because Askeladd intervened and uh, took took him away from there, right? Um, and um, when we then we didn't return to Wales, and we hear about like. Uh, the whole plan from Askeladd, right? And um, apparently Askeladd uh, doesn't like the Danes, at least that's what he said, right? Um, even though he grew up in between them, right? And has an army of Danes also, right? But they don't need to know, right? And he is telling the Welsh people, like or Asser, I think he was called, uh, and Gradienus, that the whole plan here is to help the Welsh people, right? of these small com countries and what he's planning to do is make this uh, prince uh, like them so much that he will uh, when he becomes king uh, put uh, Askeladd in a high position with the Danish uh, and that way uh, Askeladd can have, have a, like a say in what is happening uh, to all these small countries right and it makes it makes super good sense right but I mean the flaw in his plan, as I see it, 
is Knut, right? Knut is just, like, as Thorfinn said, a loser, right? Like, he's not going anywhere. Like, I mean, not in his current state at least, but we saw him open up a little bit and talk, right? But, I mean, he cannot even speak to people. Like, he's so afraid of everything, right? So, uh, something needs to happen, like, or... He needs to be trained or something. I don't know. Like I don't. I I cannot see this point of Asgard's plan, but the rest of it seems pretty cool, and I'm hoping he can he can bring it to life because I want to see it, right? And I want to see. Actually, I want to see Knut grow, right? Because that that is the whole point of this plan, right? If, if that cannot happen, we don't see the rest, right? So. Um, we also cut to back to Bjorn, and we've been doing that a lot actually. And and Bjorn tells us that they don't, he don't understand what they're saying, right? And um, but he is ensuring the men that what Askeladd is doing is like the correct thing, right? They're just negotiating, and you know the whole thing with the arrows and shooting his horse was just a show of force, right? Um, this Asa guy was actually planning to capture Knut, right? And um, and just using it as a seal, but after hearing uh, Askeladd's plan, like, I mean, he, it looked like he turned, right? Because uh, he started uh, bringing them to the next country, right? Uh, but they had to give up their weapons um, so that they wouldn't look weak, right, in front of, of the countries, like, because uh, they they want what Askeladd is offering, right? They want a safe spot. They want, uh, you know, to get through this war without any casualties, I'm guessing, right? So that's why they are going along with it. Um, and yeah, I, I'm guessing this that, that was the episode, actually. There, uh, it was mostly about Askeladd and his plan, right? Um, but I'm, I'm thinking uh, we are getting to a point now where like something has to be revealed right like i mean it's very mysterious about Asgard, right like what who he was and all that right so now we i'm guessing we will start seeing this plan put into motion and um i'm hoping we will see it soon because it's a little bit slow right now but uh i'm hoping that it will pick up anyway guys uh thank you for listening to me uh awesome episode uh guess i'll see you next episode Peace.